I'm like beat up, beat up. They definitely got slapped. And <laughs> no, Paul like, was saying Sketch got beat up in a whole entire different way. That was a good joke. You missed it, Paul. And with that being said, welcome to the Maybe It's Me podcast, episode 1818, baby. We're here. We're almost at 20. That's a big milestone. Congrats to, to my dog. And across the table, as always, is my dog, Devin. Devin, how are we today, sir? Fantastic. I'm not going to lie. I'm so ready to get on vacation mode. Yeah, you got one T minus a couple hours left, and then you're on a flight. Yeah, I haven't even started the pack yet. But oh, I'm doing you, fantastic. You would irritate me so bad. Was, you know what? I really don't, don't pack. I packed last minute because then my wife just like, I'll pack my clothes, but then she'll just pack everything else Like because I wait till last minute. It kind of stresses her out. She's like, I just, I'll take care of it. I'm like, yes. So you don't know what you're wearing? No, I know what I'm wearing. I'll, I'll pack my own clothes, and I'll put them like, on the couch. I just won't put them in the suitcase all the time. And then she'll put everything in the suitcase. Then she'll Wait, pack y'all share, a su- y'all no. share a suitcase? No. Oh, okay. She has her own suitcase. I have my suitcase, but she'll help pack mine. Help pack yours. It's, Are we eight years old? No, sometimes. I like, no you lie. forget your toothbrush. No, she takes care of all that. She gets like toothbrushes for That's us. what I'm saying. You would forget your toothbrush. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. I don't have to. I just don't have to worry about it because shout out to my wife. Shout she out. Because yeah. really on God, all I have to do is just give money. Bray, Bray takes care of everything else. She say, when when we leaving, I go to work, tell them I'm leaving. Then she says, bring this amount of money. I say, got it. Then she says, give me this amount of money so we can pay for it. I say, here it is. And then next thing I know, I'm on a plane. And I that's the, it's like, I call it like, she calls it what, uh, pass, uh, flying prince or something like that, some type of prince privilege, because she takes care of everything. Oh, you're a passenger princess. Yes, prince. <laughs> And of course, the man behind the camera, my boy Paul. How are we, sir? How's it going, guys? It's going great, man. Another week down in the world of life. Hell yeah. I'm telling you. It was a good one. It was. And as well back there, we have Miss Erin Lane. Miss Erin Lane, how are we? I'm doing good. You're doing good? Yes. Last week, it was it was terrible. So It was quite terrible, yeah. Let's get into that. How was our last week? And Miss Erin Lane, we'll start with you. It was better than the prior like on a scale to one to ten, are we going to put that like above a five or below? Like the a five? prior week was probably like negative twenty. Okay. And then this week, this past week was probably like a seven. We're getting there. Oh, that's better. That's way better. We've made a lot of progress. Way better. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. How was your last week? My oh, you started with me. My yeah, last week. Because yes. last week you fucked that up. I did, but you. I know you had the best week. I'm try, now I'm starting in my head. To, I want to rank who has the best week. So she honestly had a seven out of the week. I'm just curious what yours was. Six, five, right around there. And so it, five, it, like average. It wasn't week. anything personal. The work is just kind of chaotic right now. I got a lot of things in the blender. Me and Paul are getting them put in a blender when it comes to our sales side of things. So, me, it was a I tough got week. too much to sell or what? Oh yeah, we had a lot of stuff to quote and stuff like that. But um, I would say it's just busy, and we're making some mistakes. And uh, I think I heard that. Yeah, so I, think I heard somebody come in and say something happened, and you had to get off the phone with you. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, that part has been stressful. Give me some anxiety. I got a lot of stuff in the in the air. The hats arrived for the certified <clears throat> bogeyman thing. Uh, so congrats, <clears throat> congrats. Are you are you feeling some type of way? I about feel that? some type of way about this. Would you like to elaborate why? I wanted a hat. How you gonna send me a picture in the group chat yesterday with three hats? Like it ain't meant for three people. We have three people in here, and I'm thinking I'm walking into this thing. I'm coming in with a hat. I'm going to California tomorrow. I'm actually right. golfing in California. So I was prepared to wear the certified bogeyman hat. Okay. Who doesn't show up with a hat? All right. So if we're going to be petty about this, let me be petty and tell you that I've been begging you to golf with me. And you haven't. Wait, so there's that one. Wait, no, 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 no. You had your chance to talk. <laughs> it's mine. So therefore, I've been begging you to golf and you didn't want to golf with me. Mm. Then as a friend and a very uh, close friend, you said you don't like those style hats. And so I wasn't going to burden you with having to purchase one or anything like that. So I didn't, I didn't really put you on the books for it. I just sent it out of love. Like, hey, let's celebrate the fact that these hats came in. I'm about to dish them out. There's about 25 of them. That's your thought? Like I said. But as I said, we can audible right after this podcast and settle this immediately. Yes, we can. However, I just felt like we were better friends. I don't need the best of friends. Nick, it's okay. But we ain't better friends than just bring me a hat. We're going to do this right I now. I think Aaron got a hat. I'm a snitch. It. I think Aaron got a hat. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. Aaron got a hat because she's involved with content. She is our content creator, 
And so Aaron got a hat for that purpose. And Aaron, was it not said that that was the purpose? Yes. <laughs> All right. It was said to defend him. It was like, here's the hat for you if y'all want to do content and stuff in it. Whatever we say. But I got you. You know, you have my emotions all high right now. I'm, about to, I'm sweating because I'm under this hat. But Certified Boogeyman came out about my last week. It came out. I'm about to start uh, putting some content out there. Hopefully get these 25 hats out. It's the first. It's the OG hat. That's what it will be called. It's called the OG. It's out. Uh, it launches probably. I'm aiming. I'll probably post something about it Monday or Tuesday. And hopefully get all 25 sold. That'd be a big accomplishment for me. Well, I'm happy for you. Actually, I really am. And I hope they do all sell. Except yeah. for one, so I can have it. I got you. It's now 24. I already said I got you. If you, uh, you saying this, I, I guess, in immediately, like, I got you. I just didn't think you would wear it, so I, so I, I didn't. I'm going to wear it golfing. All right, I got you. I got you after this podcast. In the breeze. How was your last week, sir? It was very good. It was, uh, it was like, boring, though, because I wasn't in the job sites as much, just because I was really in the office trying to get two weeks' worth of shit done, because yep. I'm out next week, and I don't, I do have to bring my, you know. I do have to bring work with me, fortunately, so I'm going to bring my shit, but I'm trying to be on it as little as possible. Um, so I've been, like, literally all week closing my office. Nobody mm-hmm. talked to me, doing all my work. Jobs are going good. One job that was losing a lot of money. Remember that I one? I know. You, you remember made that some one? money. Shout he out. Shout out, out Dennis. He, 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 he turned some money around. So that was crazy. So, yeah. Owner asked me about it on Friday. I know. He, he like, hung oh, up the phone on me. He yeah. said, my, ball, my owner coming up. I got to go. He was like, hey, man, how much we going to lose? We going to lose this, this, this? I was like, no, we're about to make a little bit of money. Six percent, not too much, but we're we're, slide we, were to we, were spo- we were supposed to make twenty four, but I was like, we got six percent right now, so he was like happy as hell. Yeah, so uh, all, everything going good. Shout outs, Paul. How was our last week, sir? Uh, it was okay. Highs and lows. Well, you, can you share? Is at it least because one you messed up some? He did mess up something. Do you want to talk about his fucking messed job? Up the sign? Nah, let me talk to you about Paul real quick. You know what he messed up? Recruiting. Paul's a terrible fucking recruiter. He about to be fired from the the UTSA men's football team after one week on the job. Oh, they they, you're not getting nobody coming to commits. So I kind of had to walk away from the team from a little bit, and then uh, he had to find himself. What did the Urban Meyer got six games under his belt and had to go and leave? Got an Urban Meyer treatment. What do you? He had to do a little Ted Lasso. I had to have a little self reflection time, and then I'm currently back as the head coach of the football team. Um, we took a little Tyloo calves <laughs> just mid mid season break. Started off the season good, then we got had Texas. Yep, got up against them dogs. Got obliterated by eighty. By what? This game's really hard. He said he had to turn his whistle <laughs> in for a second. He said, this game. he said he was a fan. This is one of those where you take off your hat and you like rub your head a little bit because you wonder <laughs> how how you getting beat so bad. You don't even know what to say to the boys when you get back to the he locker room. Yeah, he turned his headset off. Just, he didn't want to talk to the booth you know, no just more. Shower I mean, I thought about how it would speak to the guys and I was just like, just one of those. We weren't expected to win. We in it, We all in it together. There's, Let's just get through it. Let's move on shower, to the next. Quinn Ewers, go Quinn Ewers got put on the Heisman Trophy list for that shit. That's but crazy. Finished off the season pretty good. Went on a little run. Got to the conference championship, but uh, fell a little short. Mm. To who? Uh, Rice. Oh! So, finish the season like 11 and 2. Did you get any commits through, uh, throughout the season? So, I was, I was in everybody's house, eating everybody's mama's meals. Mm. He was trying to. Shaking hands, you sent kissing the house babies. Too? You sent the house? I know you, you sent, send, you sent, sent the, the house. house. Sent the house. Okay. Brought, brought a few people on some visits. Ended up with like four or five, four stars. Okay. Three, some three stars. That's all you're going to get at UTSA. Yeah, I don't part. think you're going to get a problem. Oh, so. I'm in my second season now. We finished the season ranked. Oh, right. UTSA was on the map top 25? Right. 22. 22. So start season two. First game was against AM. Mm. Blasted. Didn't score a point. Mm. Paul. Then we had a two-game run. Next game, Alabama. Yo, play calling. You might want to get a new what? offensive coordinator. Don't you also get to make the schedule? Because I know in college, y'all make y'all schedule. I, I was just going to let pick for me because I don't want to like, set myself up to success. I'm going to take what's coming at me. They set you up for failure, sir. So you just let and just. The rest you, of the season's easy. But they put s- Georgia next to or what? I told myself I'll move conferences once we win the conference championship that we're currently in. So I'm going to win this year and then I'm But Bama, I'm out Bama's out of conference, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm same with the SEC, SEC after the ass whooping yeah. I got. Yeah. yeah, stay out of there. Texas, A and M, or Texas, then A and M, then then Bama, all SEC. Yeah, I'm you ain't got take no, myself to the Big Twelve. Yeah, you play ain't Colorado got no play in there. Get out of there. <laughs> I tell you what. So it's a couple seasons, but you're doing all right. 
I'm doing good. More four stars coming. Okay. Proud of you, sir. But yeah, his job's doing terrible. It's the real, the real <laughs> job. He just ain't even showing up. The real job. I mean, his performance is rubbing off a little bit. <laughs> Last week, he had a little bit minor setbacks. Now I'm starting to understand why. He was a little stressed. I was mm-hmm. supposed to buy some people lunch if they got some stuff done. but He was happy that they did, and I'll tell you that much. Wait, you put a bet? I did. I put it together. Because, you know, we made a big mistake, and, and the guys were, I was hoping that they would pull it off. They did, they did really well, so I think I still might give a little something. But we'll see. How, well. how big a mistake y'all make? Like, you just made a couple of signs? Oh, we dropped the ball. A sign like, was due basically the day we found out about it. So, <laughs> y'all, them motherfuckers, I hate. Okay. Yeah. Y'all, them. So, we dropped the ball pretty big, but we bounced back. You know, a little bit of communication, a little bit of, I'm sorry. I how apologize. long do y'all get signs? Like, oh, we had that sign a month. So, I'm saying, ooh, that was. <laughs> okay. It's okay. We dropped the ball a little bit. Yeah, I mean, as a team. Is the sign med- ready? We move on. <laughs> this, this is your fault, Aiden Paul. This is your fault, Devin. You're like this is your fault, Aiden. The knife Paul. is already in there. And just twist it. Like, give me your favorite song, then I'll stop. Mm. Give me your go-to song, and I will stop mm. push, twisting this. I already knife. felt bad. Might as well just keep going. You felt bad. So when we go into these Monday morning meetings, and you're over there talking, you go, no, no, and you ain't telling people what we need to hear is because you was out here dropping the ball on the sign purchase right here. I owned up to it. I didn't. I didn't throw Paul under the bus one time. I mean, but realistically, how do long you feel like take? I did? You just say Paul made a mistake. Oh, I did. I said Paul made a mistake. I said, but we all he'll make buy mistakes. you lunch if you're able to. That get was, the but that was the last thing I said. Though. But like, how long I does feel. it make take to make the sign? Depending on this sign. That's what I'm long. asking. Like, this how? sign takes a long time. Like, is that why y'all needed a month? And y'all trying to sm- like make a month sign in one day? No, we have like lead times that I, I understand. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, what Paul, is, Paul how gave long him, normally do you need to make this sign? It would probably take us a couple of days to actually make it. It takes us like a week to make a sign. Yeah. And you're it's like to scheduled out to a certain Paul time. gave us a lot of cushion and then unfortunately ran through that. So, mm. but yeah, last week was a little rough. So, Paul, I'm, gl- I'm glad we're making it out. Um, I'm glad everybody had better weeks. It seems like everybody had better weeks. My week wasn't, it wasn't all end all be all bad. I do tell you what about my last, my last week, because technically today's Sunday, we usually record on Mondays, but today's Sunday, yesterday I did something really cool. I got to experience something that I didn't really think that I would enjoy it as much as I did. And, you know, I got to experience something with my son one-on-one. It was like our first father son moment. I took a, I took my son by myself to a Hot Wheels monster truck event. Hmm. And my son had a blast. Did he? Yeah, he had a he had a really good time. So shout out my boy Derek put me onto that. He he's the one that uh, said it was coming up. And shout out his birthday. His birthday was yesterday too. Um, Derek's was, but he said that it was coming to town. They had two little time frames. Uh, I went to the evening one. It was kind of like a last minute, like yeah, hey let's let's just do it. And so my wife had some plans with some friends, so we got our sitter to watch Elena, and then I took my son out. And he had a, he had a great time, and I had a good time too. Ma, you forget how fun monster trucks are sometimes. No, I haven't been in a long time. It was at the Alamo Dome. It was at the Frost Bank Center. Oh, the Frost Bank Center. Yeah, this one was small enough to where they did it at the Frost Bank Center. They weren't going too too crazy. It was it mainly was for the kids. You know, Monster Jam is like a big event. Yeah, they do that. Yeah. Uh, but this one was a Hot Hot Wheels themed monster truck rally, so it was really really cool. It was all about the kids. Bought my son a monster truck. He hadn't put that thing down since he got it. No, and he yeah. came home telling his, telling his mom all about it. So it was it was a very touching moment. Um, I'm not too much of an emotional guy as is. So, but that one hit me. That one shed got me a in tear, the heart. Huh? You had a little tear on the No, 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 no. I didn't wow. shed a tear. But I had moments where I was looking at him. I was like, damn, this is this is what it is. This is what You'll parenting is all about. This. Oh yeah, a whole lot more than my son will for yeah, sure. These are the golden years of of yeah. like selfish time for parents to build their memory bank up of their children because. When he gets older, he ain't gonna want nothing to do with mm, me. One day he gonna want to chill with friends. He want to have a little girlfriend, do whatever. And I get that, but these are these are mommy and daddy times, and so we cherish them a lot. I like that. You had a very eventful Saturday. I did not. You was lazy. No. Oh, you're packing. You're getting ready. No, like I was supposed to yesterday. I was supposed to get packed up and get ready yesterday. I'm telling you right now. I woke up at about eight o'clock on Saturday morning. Yeah, went got a haircut. Oh, you took a long fucking yep. Mm-hmm. Went, got back home about 11.30 a.m. I fell right asleep. I was going to take a little, I don't, I don't take naps. You said you were going to take a snoozer. I was going to take a little nap. 11.30, plan on getting up. 7.45 p.m. I wake up. I'm ready to, like, what the hell? I don't only wake up because my wife's like, I'm hungry. Let's go get food. Other than that, I was about to sleep all day yesterday. I don't know what it was. You're sleepy. 
I was a little sleepy boy. And my wife was upset because she always wants me to take naps with her, and I refuse. And she was like, why did you take such a long nap? We could have just took them over the next couple Saturdays. I was like, nah, I'm just, I don't know. I was tired as hell. I didn't want to do nothing. I, I slept like 15, catch up 16 you. hours. Sometimes people need those. But I'm a, I'm a nap king. I can literally go to sleep anyway. I go to sleep on the show right now. What? So you nap? I don't, I'm not a napper. I used to never be a napper when I was like a kid, ever. But now, boy, snooze king. Nice little nap on, on the weekend. Anywhere. It, really. Are you a napper, Paul? I feel like you're a napper. Sometimes. Like if I didn't sleep a lot the night before, then maybe during like lunch or something. Oh, my wife knows. Let me rephrase it, Kate. You don't nap in people's places, do you? Like what what do you mean nap in people's places? Like if you went to go visit somebody and you Absolutely act- not. <laughs> I knew it. That's you wouldn't weird. just actually take a nap somewhere? I'm not gonna be like, Oh, I'm gonna go lay down for a minute. No, I'm not doing that. I don't part. really do that either, but if I I mean if we ain't doing nothing and it was just No, like but the like vibe. if we're at your if we're at your house, like we're and I'm climbed up in that thing and we all were watching Raw or something like that, but I would <laughs> I'd go right to sleep. Yeah, see, like I was gonna say, like Sunday football. Like if you come over to my house for Sunday football, that's, what like, I'm that's expected. Like, take a little, nit, little you're taking nap. a little siesta. Like, yeah, yeah. mid game between the between the noon and the two thirty. I feel like we you be sleep. All we see is Paul just sneak out the yeah, door. Yeah, no, he would, he would leave. Paul would leave. I mean, I'm not gonna wake you up, so I'm gonna just leave. I'm telling you. Do you expect me to wake you yes, up? Yes, I, I would. I, be mad. Yeah, because be I would make you stay. I, when you when I woke up and you weren't there, I'd think you're rude as hell. I'm like, this rude-ass motherfucker. I really Not even remember. a text. Paul, you wouldn't send a text, would you? Yeah. He would just go home. No, like, I've spent the night at friends' houses before, after high school, and I've just, I got work. Bye. And I just walk out. No, but you said that in your head, didn't you? You didn't even tell them. Yeah, you didn't tell them, buddy. No, because they're still sleeping. I got to leave now. Paul is not a goodbye person. He is minimal. If it was acceptable just to not say goodbye, I would just leave a lot of places. It's called the Irish goodbye. Yeah, no, I'm the king of that. You just leave. Everybody knows that, especially because I don't go out. Like if I'm out and I and I don't want to be there no more, because people be in the middle of conversations me. and then you have to wait for them to be done with that conversation just to say bye. I've walked out mid conversation. I think somebody has talked to me before, and I just <laughs> that's crazy talk. Not a napper. I knew it. I'm not a napper. I knew you wouldn't nap at nobody's house. Would you nap at people's houses? It depends on the person. It depends on the person. I can give it that. Yeah, I can give it that. But typically, I would probably say no. Especially now, it's not happening. It's too much of my life going. Well, like, you're never really going anywhere out for exactly. A long but I'm to saying, like, if, out there. if I'm at my, if I'm with my kids out somewhere, like, I'm not. We ain't. I can't take a snoozer. I know. That's what I'm saying. If it's jumping from the top rope. <laughs> that's okay. I was curious. I'm. I'm just wondering. You just nap right at your house. Yeah. How oh, long yeah, is a good out. nap? Like, is it fifteen thirty? Because, like, obviously, I took seven. It was an eight hour nap for me. A good nap is like under three hours? Yeah. I'm like, what's it? I thought a nap was like 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Ain't that oh, a, that's like a that's a power nap. Power nap. Which I could oh. definitely What do, do they call it? Um, call it a power nap? What do they call it? Cat, cat nap. What's yeah. a cat? Is that a cat nap? I think it's. Yes, and that's actually false because cat naps are actually long. Oh, are they? When a cat naps, I think is what she's saying. So I had a cat nap yesterday. A long nap? A long nap. But you went to right sleep. Out. That so was not saying. a nap. You slept for like eight hours. No, 100%. It was that's, the best That's time going to sleep. And so. like I went to sleep normal that night too. Like I wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, I stayed up all night, went right to sleep, woke up about 7.45 this morning. I feel that. I feel uh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm glad. You know why you were probably so tired? I know you're gonna say it, no, but I do have something to tell you about it. Yes, go ahead. Because you went on your little run. Ah, yeah, you went yeah. on your run, and this one, mm-hmm. this one got you. Dog. This one whooped your ass. Speaking, like, so we're getting into goal talk. Obviously, it's mm-hmm. the monthly. It's our. We got one week left, one full week, and a little bit of like four days after. You went on a run. Congratulations, you did mm-hmm. it again. Did it again. Well, you called me that. I called you that day. You was right. you were crying. Bro, my the first back week you was is crying. killing me, bro. I don't get this shit. I like my back is bad. Threw your goddamn hip out. Nah, and messed, <laughs> your back, and maybe, messed your back no. up. Like, I'm fine, but, like, every time I move, I'm like, shit, why my back, like, hurting so much? So, I don't know what I did. I talked to my friends about it. They say it's because I don't stretch. I got to start stretching. You, you just get up and go. You think you still at got it. At four in the No, I don't think I still got it. But at four in the morning, I ain't got time to do all that shit. I still got to go to work and shit. And I don't want to run in this hot-ass heat. So, I was just like, you know, start with, I, I start to run off slow, you know, just to, uh, get the muscles going. Nothing crazy. Then you start picking it up, but. But the back hurt, but it's still like fucked up today. 
Like, I'll be having my Brady out there massaging the back since it don't work. I don't know what the hell. Well, I'm glad. No matter what, you did it. I'm going to stretch it. But, yeah, I did it. And I got to figure out if I'm going to do it tomorrow morning before I leave or if I'm going to do it in California. But I can't really run. A California run would be good. Yes, it would. But running in the morning like that, there's bears. While I think I could fight one, I don't really want to find out as much. Yeah. I mean, I saw them bears. They're not very big last night. But time I also, I that's like the last thing I probably would consider. I would just do it. If you're running in the morning? Yeah. There's bears everywhere. Mm. You're right. Fuck it. So. I'm going to do it. Big shout out on your goal. Uh, getting into mine. I haven't done it yet. It's Sunday. Today's the day I'll do it. What I don't know do? exactly what I'm going to do yet. Uh, There's a couple things in the arsenal, but I don't know. You got to do something nice for the wife. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to. Well, you're going to take away. A nice hour because I'm getting a hat, so you ain't doing nothing nice for that. <laughs> so go ahead and plan for your nice little thing to be around five o'clock, buddy. Understood. I got you. <laughs> I'm just playing, but no, God, uh, you don't have an idea yet. I do. I have some idea, and we've talked about what she would like to do. So I just she gotta like make it happen. Going out, doing something. I think that's the move, but we're it's TBD right now. TBD. TBD. Chiba Hood. No. <laughs> uh, Paul. Boy, I know you're not yawning. You know, Why would you say that? Because <laughs> he was over there yawning. Uh, Hartman's still figuring it out. But, yeah, it's almost done. I thought you said it was good. I thought, yeah, because then I'll just annoy you when I ask you a question you was already answered. Well, don't bring it up now because we're 30 minutes in. Yeah, no, we're not, we're not going to go back to it. But yeah. I feel like... Uh, uh, no, I, I feel like you have to, the, I just have to sign things. Yeah, I was going to say, I would oh. say that you successfully achieved that, though. No, I, I don't care about that. What about the movies? Oh, that that one's not gonna happen. He gave I up. Gave up he, on that he waved one. the white flag. I thought, oh, Marvel, Marvel is the only one this year. Marvel. Well, my original goal got harder. Harder? Finding an apartment got harder. It was that was your original goal. Yeah, it got harder. I had to he's take saying, extra steps. He's saying because oh, of yeah. because of you, Nick, is what he's saying. All right, <laughs> I'm just playing. We're not doing this again. Uh, have you been thinking about maybe next month and what it could be? I have no idea what next month's gonna be. I'll think about. It. Have you given it a thought? Because this is the last week. We got one more week, yeah. One more full well, week. Well, this one is week coming up, yeah. I've been thinking about it a little bit, yeah. I got a lot of, like, business goals I'd like to accomplish, so. Okay. I, I say you. business, but I got a lot of, like, certified bogeyman things and this podcast. Like, one of my oh, big yeah. goals is to, to get shirts. Coming soon, TBD. So, that actually might be next month's goal is to launch shirts. About that could be a big team goal. We should do a team goal. I'm down for that. That'd be dope. But yeah, that would be. I really want to get shirts done. All right, and then end of August. Did we just decide on that? We just decided, and All Paul's right. agreeing. Okay, and then we had a rebound goal of uh, Miss Aaron Lane. Are you getting up? Yes. How's it? And how, I have wait. both of y'all to thank me for the accountability. Yes. I just decided all my content questions are, are right. At 7 a.m. Yeah, like, hey, did this get done? <laughs> yeah. I'm this. He'll spread them out like 7 a.m. Once <laughs> at like 8, you know, see if I'm still there. So you're up. Are you getting up at 7? I get up at 7.30. Right at 7.30. Okay. And log in. Okay. Except when we've been getting up, getting work done, productivity. Yeah. The first day I was like, wow, this day is lasting quite a while. Like... The day's not over yet. Typically, I feel like I have no time. And then now I'm like, oh, I got it's like nice, three right? more hours. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice, right? I'm telling you, that's why I get up early because it just makes your day easier instead of stressing yourself out. But I'm glad you got up at 730. Yeah. You get, are you uh, doing how many? Like, you still doing the claim stuff? Yeah. Like, are you knocking them out? Like, just. Yeah, like, I'm very good on production. That's never, like, an issue with me when it comes to, like, work. So that's. Oh, when you start like at when 10 and 7, fine. you're fine. I guess yeah. you Okay. Beautiful. Well, I'm glad. Right, have you given next month's thoughts? Yeah, y'all got 31 days. 30 days? Okay. Yeah, 30 days. Jesus Christ. You're not leaving town? You ain't got nothing you to better do be, with your... You better be locked Because you got... Hold on. One, two, three, four, four. Four jobs that I know. Probably more. All these jobs? I think I have four. Four and a half, maybe. Four and a half. So we, you ain't got nothing to do for those four and a half jobs next month? I don't think so. There's okay. a lot to do. <laughs> All right, we're going to find out. I'm excited. How many days is August? 30? 30, I believe. Yeah, I think it's 30. Good it's even 30. number. Every other day or every day? Every day. Oh, okay. Oh, God. 
Well, 20 right. minutes. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's locked in. Locked I'm in. ready. She has her goal ready. Well, good, good stuff on goals. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I am curious on what he's bringing to the table today. But Mr. Ellis, hit us with a maybe it's me of the week, please. So maybe it's me, but if I'm going to like a store, like somewhere where I'm trying to buy something, I shouldn't just walk in and there should be just no one there. So on Thursday afternoon, I decided like, hey, I don't like sitting at my desk too much trying to play this college football game. I'm going to get this thing called a PlayStation Portal. It was just a little handheld Fire. you play the game on. Yep. Like, it, like a like an old school PSP. Yeah. I could lay on my beanbag, play that <laughs> with my feet kicking or not. Yeah. No, they're kicking for sure. And then, uh, so I walk into Target because Target's the only place that looks like they have it. I get to the electronics section. There's just no employee there. I'm like walking mm. the aisles trying to find nobody. In somebody. Yeah. I, I would expect that in Walmart. I need to know Target, its location. Yeah, because yeah, Target, I, there's always a motherfucker. That's where I'd be Target. around. All right. Wait, I'm trying to think. So what happened? Because you said you're at work, right? I generally know the area of work, but I don't. The closest Target I know is the one by my house, which is in the forum. And you always got a star. No, that's where I live. That's even a, that's an even better one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. So I'm walking around, walking around. Walk to the grocery section, no one there. Walk to, uh, like, house of, house decor section, can't find nobody. So I end up going to, like, the customer service area. All the Gra- way to the front? Yes. I grab this guy, like, starts talking on his radio, like, Psst. hey, is anyone in electronics available? No response. He's like, okay, let me walk with you and go, to go over there. So me and him walk over there. He's on the his <laughs> microphone for a good... 15 minutes at this point i'm like if i didn't want this thing so bad to play college football i, I would have just left by now because i would have found somewhere else to get it but this was like the only place i could find it so they didn't have it at best buy i was already there so i was like and i had to drop something off for of work so i was like i got you if i don't get this, this is the, the only next, stop yeah yeah this is i'm not going anywhere after this i feel that so another 10 minutes pass and this, like, 19-year-old guy comes walking out from the back. He's like, oh, man, I'm sorry. I was on my break. Mm. I'm like, it's fine, man. So you think so much of the break covered. I'm more, yeah, just me personally, I like that. I agree with you that you definitely need to have, have people around. I'm more surprised you even try, attempted this. You didn't. I'm more surprised the millennial you didn't just online order. order this. He doesn't order. You don't online order. Absolutely hate it. Like, pick up. Exactly. Like, on in-store pickup. You don't do that? Uh, that that rings Paul to me to the T. Like I want to get it the fastest way possible, and the fastest way is usually going in there and be like, I, I want that thing. Can I please buy? It? I disagree. In yeah. today's times, the fastest way possible. Paul, yeah. I mean Devin is right. Yeah. It is pick up. Curb, store. It's curbside or pickup. What it's, things are you curbsiding? A PlayStation stuff, Portable. The, if I gotta go get one, the I'm stuff not. that the stuff that we just acquired for yeah. the podcast. All of it was basically pickup. You don't need to like look in the back, look at the box, for ask right. somebody a question online. You think they know more? You think like what do, do you, you know think they, the podcast stuff? I know people probably at Best Buy or wherever you got it. Probably know you a just something. said a nineteen-year-old worker. Yeah, nineteen-year-old worker. Electronic. He probably knows of his break. You know something. He doesn't know more than you don't uh, even know what he was that, puffing in his vape. What's that African American fellow tech? The tech guy I'm more. He's Brownlee. He don't know more than Marquise. Okay, <laughs> so I do all my knowledge beforehand, and I know what I want. I like you and I want you. But that's what and I'm, saying, I'm like, buying you. I'm so confused. So therefore, I'm just going to press this purchase. I'll pick it up. It better be there. Mm-hmm. Now, the hostility comes from, and my maybe it's me, but maybe it's me. But when you tell me my shit is ready and I go to pick it up and it's not ready, or you got to do all this diddly daddly in the back to find my shit. You go to these curbsides, but then you either got to press the button on the app or like give them a call and then they'll take their sweet ass time to come deliver your stuff. Now, see, I will come in Best Buy. Best Buy, you got my. Because I, I purchased you, and yeah, they, they, always got they got the it front. right there. He, he, took a, the front. he took a pivot. He didn't even move both feet. He turned around, came back, mm-hmm. and my shit Never was right there. Never experienced that. That was, like, beautiful. He said, let me see your license. I said, bam, here you go. Yeah, that's... that's Beep. I was out. That absolutely amazes me. You don't do that, Paul. So you're saying that's the standard? That's the standard I expect from all pickup. Mm-hmm. And and shout out, once again, the greatest grocery store of all time. H-E-B. H-E-B. No, after H-E-B your, kills curbside. After your guys' comments, you shouldn't be doing that. Mm-hmm. Of how you need to feel your produce and your breads. 
Oh yeah, I don't personally do crepes. I pick up my wife does. Personally, I go inside. But when you got two kids, I, you don't go inside. That's probably true too. I wouldn't do that. I would not want to have two. When you got two kids, you don't go inside. Yeah, see, that would make a lot you of see sense. all them fucking snacks they put at the at the eye height. <laughs> I want of this children. and I want they, that. Do they just start grabbing stuff, bro? And be like, I want this, and then they throw a fit. They want I want the chips. Them. They want the da- the damn snacks that they used to have them because they see them. They got opinions on what they think <laughs> they want. <laughs> they don't want this for dinner. They want some fucking yogurt in the middle of the yogurt aisle. <laughs> we don't do that. I could dead ass see your little girl just tearing up some chips at the chips. Like, why you put some chips in? I can see her just grab that shit. Just you know what I'm saying? Because we didn't see plenty just of open photos. it up in the store. I did. I, I could see that with her own person. I just getting and you, go ahead, daddy, keep shopping. I really could. That's a loose cannon child I have right there. <laughs> so probably she's. But that she's I, the wild. She's the wild one for sure. But yeah, so I understand why he doesn't go in, but I go in. So but yeah, other than that, I do curbside pickup for everything else. But yeah, there's no reason to talk to somebody. They don't know more than what you, you could probably. Like that's what I'm saying. You go to YouTube, Paul. Like you don't just go to YouTube and go research this from people's reviews. And research it online. You I'm actually try, prefer to go talk I'm to somebody to be in which, and out. I, don't, I do. I don't want to look up who has supply and who doesn't. But to get back to the maybe it's me, like. I will agree that is annoying. Like, is yeah, annoying. you're not wrong. No, like, just have someone. If someone's going on break, just don't leave nobody there. Yeah. I mean, but it's tough in today's world. People just don't want to do this stuff. Yeah, as the baby as me, as, as, uh, you, the new generation. It'd just be crazy, bro. The, this new generation don't know, does not know anything about how Toys R Us used to be. They don't even know about oh. Toys R Us. They don't know about KB Toys. KB Toys? See what I'm saying? To I remember Toys R Us. See what I'm saying? I remember it shutting down. No, 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 about that. We all you don't even realize that uh, GameStop used to be called Funko Land. Really? You don't know anything about that. Was it really called that? And it was amazing. When did GameStop come out? When Funko Land died, which was probably like in 04, I want to say. That's weird. Bro, <laughs> I could take you down. Didn't even know that. Yeah, you don't even any, know anything about Discovery Zone. Like the Discovery Shout Channel to- had a store? Oh, my God. No, it had nothing. One had nothing to do with the other, but Discovery Zone was a place where they hosted birthday parties, and it was just like a land of adventure of just like they had all these obstacle courses, they had all this fun stuff to do. It was amazing. And then if you grew up in San Antonio, you should know something about Malibu Castle, where they had a castle that had a go kart place in it, and it had all these arcade games in it with batting cages. Shout out Malibu Castle. Malibu Castle was a fun time. Did you ever go? I feel like I remember that now. You said you remember that they had batting cages. They used to have tugboats with with little water guns. There you go. That's why I haven't fucking seen. They had go kart. They had a go kart track. It just got. I I have no idea. It's it's still demolished. There's a hotel. Is there any place that's still like that that has like a bunch of stuff in one place? Like laser tag, Andretti, go karting, Andretti, yeah. But there's not like one stop shop like arcade and Andretti. Yeah. They have all that stuff? I yes. thought they were just an indoor racetrack. They have bowling, indoor go-karting. They have the arcade. Laser tag, too. And laser tag. Have and you guys ever done laser tag? I'm, a, I'm, elite. I'm an elite champion at laser tag. I'm not kidding. I've seen them play oh. paintball with y'all. I don't believe it. <laughs> Did I come out <laughs> skate in paintball? No, you had some shots. I had like one. Didn't Chase hit you? or Like somebody? once, and I got my revenge. But in... See, the same thing happened. Company, We had a company little outing at main event where there was laser tag. And I'm not kidding when I tell you I won by it. was It was two more digits ahead of everybody. Like everybody's not, numbers lined up like this. Nick had two more. I don't fuck around when it comes to things like that, okay? Fun I, fact, I Nick takes it. those things to extremes. I'm main, on the ground. Event right by your house. I'm on the ground. Okay. We're going we gonna to put a team. That might be my goal. We do a team outing of my main event, so I can do this and I can just show yo. Is main event good? Like, cause I feel like, I feel like I could, Nick. You could beat me a laser tag. I feel like I could. Yeah. When you see a six foot five shadow it's moving from shoot. moving on the rooftop, it's more to shoot. <laughs> when you see him, <laughs> exactly. You you, your head on a swivel because you're right. paranoid now. Right. When you see somebody real life slide cancel and <laughs> on the ground. You're gonna be, you're gonna be mad. I'm not kidding. I, uh, he saw me slide cancel in real life, and he had to tell me that Nick. Okay, I didn't, I didn't think you were that athletic. One, but two, like I didn't think you were serious about how serious you take like, things. You like running this. that shit on rugs and made it. You had rug burn out the ass. You try to do that shit. Paul, did I not slide cancel for real? It was moving like it was war zone. 
It's a, I, I run up into a full sprint. I, we ain't scared. I said, Paul, watch my six. I'm pushing. And he didn't know what that mean. He knew what that meant. <laughs> he didn't know what I mean. But I want to try this. I'm I'm just curious. See, I bet you I could. I bet you I'm a, sh- I'm a sharpshooter. So I know. It just it comes naturally for, you know. <laughs> it comes naturally that way. <laughs> Who's the all-time leader in threes? I think he has some complexion to him. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a real life. Oh, Chris Kyle? He was black in real life. Fun fact. Was he really? The movie got it wrong. No way. I said, There's <laughs> no kidding. way. That's true. I was like, what? <laughs> they would they would have outrage if, they, if somebody did that. That would be wild. Um, mm-hmm. Anywho, let's get, let's get into something current events, shall we? All right. So first one we got up. So co- talked about college football twenty five a little bit earlier, but uh, in the first three days. 2.2 million copies of their deluxe edition were sold, which gave them, which just gave players three days early access. So it gave EA $220 million in the first three days. Bags. Insane. And they still go make a trash bags. ass maddening games and all that stuff. They still go make trash ass games. Bags on bags, on but money. shout out. Oh, they have really figured out a way to finesse money out of video games, bro. Like, I remember, like, growing up, it used to just be, like, what, fifty nine ninety nine yeah. and a controller, bro. Now you got to pay for everything in the mama to, like, get all this shit. I'm like, I, I feel like this is a slippery slope, though, because I'm going to take it technical for a second and just, like, players will find out how much money you made. Dude. Archie uh-huh. Manning signed for a bag. He signed for sixteen compared to every other player getting, like, 100 and a copy. He signed for 16000 did he really? Yeah. I, know. I mean, they gave individual players like certain deals. Yeah, there, really there's wanted. like certain things. They were bigger. I mean, but but I'm just saying players. like, bro, you made a bag in the first three days. No, 100%. They definitely did. And it's going to get worse. Oh, oh, man. This NIL stuff is crazy. That, but that game, is it good, Paul? For real, for real, is it good? You're the only one that, in this room that's played it. No, I played I mean, it all yesterday. Is that good? Is that good? It had me feeling like I'm really a coach. It got me really defeated when I'd be losing. Have you put <laughs> Have you put a pregame speech together yet? I'm in my head, I haven't gone full out. Yeah, I see. Talk to myself. Have you thrown the see, clipboard I, yet? When I tell y'all I'm that serious, we I would wake up and play either in my headphones. We ready? Come on, come on. We ready? I mean, I'd be I fine. literally would do it right after a shower, so there's still some mist in the room. We <laughs> ready? <laughs> Uh, what do you call it? I've been watching Jay Broski, and he's fucking hilarious. He, I love Jay. He'd be on there with a with a clipboard and everything. God, he's fucking I hilarious. love Jay Broski, bro. You know who's low key funny? Trent, when he get mad. God, he's hilarious. I have a clip. Because I'll be watching Trent and Terrence play, and Trent be getting mad. Oh, it's the fucking funny <laughs> shit. I made like a two minute montage of Trent smashing a controller on stream. <laughs> yeah, that controller that obliterated. I made oh. a beat out of it. It was a bink! <laughs> and the controller is in pieces. Jesus. It's my funniest part. The full scene, the full clip, he smashes the controller and sitting there like this for like two minutes of just like frustration. It was the funniest thing. I love watching Trent get frustrated. He don't like it, but I'd be fucking, we'd be on FaceTime and he'd be on Twitch streaming it and I watch it. It changes his whole mood. Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah, it changes his whole mood. But it does look like a cool ass game. I did see another guy who was doing it and they kind of hoed him. So, you know, he did, he created his player. Yeah. And he like got recruited out of high school or whatever and he chose this spot. And it was like some small school. And then they said, like, somehow some message from Alabama came through that said, if you transfer to Alabama, you could be first string starting cornerback. So he was like, bet. And he fucking did it. And he did this shit on live stream. Did it. Goes to it. Fourth string cornerback. They had him at an 80 overall. While everybody was like 89 and 90. Oh, he was like, what the fuck just happened? It was yeah, funny. I mean, even when I'd be recruiting people, I'd be like, mm-hmm. I'm going to offer you because I need some people at this position, but there's a lot of people in front of you that damn, I can't promise you're going to play. It's crazy. You, and you sitting in front you, of their mama's house. Yeah, you coming to their mama's house eating their mac and cheese and shit, talking about your son going to start. And then you really don't even want him to start. You Game's two-faced game. son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on to our next one. Uh, so you, the USA basketball team struggles to beat South Sudan. They beat them 101 to 100. Uh, the uh, South Sudan Basketball Federation was formed by Luol Deng, and South Sudan only became a country in 2011. Yeah, so they're just pulling anybody that can hope a little bit that has some color to them. Are you, are you asking, like, are we worried? 
I'm just asking your opinion. I didn't like that LeBron had to get a last minute layup, but I'm not worried. It's like, like, are you? Th- I think it was probably more for show, like to bring awareness to it all. Because Luel Day, I liked him. He used to be a hooper. Yeah, he was cool. But was I, cool. yeah, no, I don't think I'm wor- like. If this is a question yeah. about, uh, is this something that the USA team should be worried about? I don't think so. Every Olympics it's team, an exhibition game. It's an exhibition game one, but every team has always done this. Like they'll have like weird exhibition games and then just dominant performances. Yeah. So and then the South Sudan one, the fact that it was created like. A year ago, it's just like cool. Like I, I mean, think it just got, brings awareness. Yeah. Just I do think it. like a lot of you know American-based basketball players, if they can't play for the Olympic team, just pull a Embiid, but for like another country. Like you got all these like Buddy Heald is playing for the Bahamas. Uh, so is uh, Deon, DeAndre Ayton and oh, everything yeah, like exactly. that. They're all playing for like the Eric Gordon's playing for Bahamas. It's like bro, y'all ain't once claimed to be bah- Bahamian. A day no, in your life. DeAndre Ayton's from there. Yeah, okay. No, for real. I have, a, more, I have a better ac- Caribbean accent than him. I'm being for real, though. No, like no he, I believe you. But he, I'm he, just saying. He was like, recruited from there out of Arizona. I'm just saying. Like, it's, no, like, I get your point. On, yeah. But it's like, I get it. Like, they're, the USA has a lot of talent. They, they're not going to be worried. I'm not worried about nothing when it comes to them until I see, like, Spain or something. See how they are. Yeah, but Steve Kerr is, is very guard biased, by the way. You think so? I mean, that's what he. I mean, he's his. He's At the end of the day, to, I he's get used it. to his center being six nine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good point. What else you got, Paul? Uh, last one I got. So, did you guys hear about what's happened Friday? What happened? The Friday? whole world we, shut down. No, my world I, didn't shut br- down. My wife long. called me and said the world shut down. She was hot. Y two K happened. For real? Pretty much. So they shut it down. Microsoft products were down late Thursday through Friday. Um. It caused planes to be grounded and flights to be delayed. Um, so what happened, there was like some cybersecurity company that like released a tiny update. Apparently this entire update just shut everybody's stuff down. So from <laughs> from Somebody grocery stores fired. to airports, everything was just shut down. Yeah, their computers got bricked. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. It didn't happen to me at work. I didn't get phased by it. Um, but that is, I mean, it's a sign to show you like how... Import how reliant this world is on technology now. Oh, hundred percent. And so, it's crazy uh, to think that like uh, it, it affected banks or something like that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people couldn't get access to their banks, bank accounts, and yeah, stuff. So carry some cash on you, just in case. But at the same time, like I mean, it is what it is. Like if you're tra- if you're a heavy heavy travel person or anything like that, like you just got to be prepared for stuff like this. Like. I don't, I don't think you prepare for that. Like, with my wife, she... They, no, I'm just <clears> saying, like, this comes with, like... Oh, yeah, no, hundred Like, if you're in Greece and you're trying to come back, like, I'm sorry, oh, but you, we you cannot put you on the flight. You will die. Oh, that's fine. Like, we, we need we, technology. Yeah, I'll stay right here. Yeah, I don't need to go back. Or no, 100%. Like, I get you. You invested a lot of money. Well, you can life. go back, because, like, when my wife, when she... When it all went down in her hospital, she was upset, because normally they have, like, a little... You know, like, the old mailing bank system, tube yeah. system, where you can push it down? That's how they get their medicines delivered to their floor now is this little pneumatic tube. So they'll request it. The pharmacy sends it up, pneumatic tube. Now they all had to walk their asses down the stairs to the very bottom of the floor, go to the pharmacy, pick it up, and go all the way yeah. back up. It was hot. So it's just much that much technology changes your no, whole yeah, life. People, people are like, I'm not saying this is a true first world issue because, like, obviously getting home transportation is a big deal. Yeah. But, like, it's crazy how much we complain about first world problems sometimes. Like, oh, my phone doesn't work. Like, no. <laughs> You, you'll survive. Dear Paul, um, let me ask you a question just by staring at you. I could tell by your eyes. It glimmered when I said that. Do you genuinely feel like you could survive without a phone? I don't think anybody could. A hundred percent I could. Because if I stabbed you right now, who would you call? <laughs> what does that have to do with having a phone? You wouldn't be able to stab me, but what does that have to do with a phone? Who are you going to call? Who, who are you going to get? How are you going to get help? Paul, stop. Stab me where? Because I could treat myself. I could put a tourniquet on. Stab me right in the stomach. In the stomach? Like, my odds of living are very slim anyway, so. <laughs> so you just got to give up? Yeah, like, bro, I'm dead. Or I'd go find help. No, what does that have to do with a phone? I guess calling I was, for help? Like I was more yes, putting it in. 911 services and stuff. So you don't feel like you could survive without a cell phone for a week? I mean, with everything else working, I could. Okay. That's what I was asking. I said cell phones. Like there's, oh, land, there's still landlines. All you had to do was tell them. But nobody uses landlines no more. A lot of people do. Yeah, a ton of people do. My grandpa. A lot of a lot of businesses use them. Yeah, a lot of a lot of like people obviously don't have house phones or anything like that. 
But like we as a generation survived without cell phones. Could you survive without internet? He'd be bored as hell without internet. I think we'd all nah. be bored as hell. You can survive. You just be bored. You have to use. I your mean, you're using the term like survive, like could, life or death. Of course, I could survive. But could like, you function? We've already talked about navigation. I know you couldn't. I was about to say if you had to tell me to go to California, that's what I was telling. Yeah, but I don't think I'm the only one who couldn't. No, nobody. Like, no, no, no. You're just younger than us. That's what I'm asking you. No, but I'm like businesses couldn't function. Yes, they could. <laughs> without without what? Internet. There's fax machines. No, but who uses the fax machine? A lot of people still use fax machines to this day. What businesses do you know? A lot. Like I'm telling you, people still send faxes. Is, Not, it, is like, it as much as you think it is? I mean, I know when I when I left to go work where we work now, like I was faxing things over. That was like 2011 or 12. It's only 10 years ago. Do y'all not? Do you not use a fax machine? Mm-hmm. Okay, I know you don't. I used to have to send faxes, but I haven't sent a fax. That's just like transferring years. data. Like that's just like USBs and floppy disks and stuff like that. Like you just have to think outside the box. Like businesses survived without internet for a while. Is it people still? We still mail all of our checks. We don't send bank transfers. Like that's a like that's what I'm saying. Like in business, like a lot of people don't rely on. Yeah, internet but I feel like things. the whole process relies on internet being there throughout the process of it. No matter if you're like, if you send a check throughout that process, something needs internet there. No, you, you could take that check to the bank and get it cashed. No, but how are you gonna mail it? I'm talking about the whole process of the person sending the check and then. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like the database now is probably saved online. I get you, but like. We survived without it. Yeah, the you survived in the past. The past can still be the future. <laughs> like if we could have a big reset. Yeah, it's going to take a long time. You just start citywide. You don't go like, you don't branch out. That, like that's how cities are originated, I feel. You don't like focus on the nation. You focus on where you're at and what you can control. Probably. But yeah. Right. That's pretty much it for current events. Wait, time out. Did anybody watch the WME All Star game? I told you I wasn't going to talk about this. I mean that wholeheartedly. No, that's but fine. You tell me. I, I want you wanna, to fill me in. Then Go I want to give a shout out to Arike Ungu, Arike Unguwabale. I can't say her last name. I apologize. I felt like that was decent. She is bona fide Hooper. Certified Hooper. She gave him that word. Zero points first half. Zero. Okay. Thirty two to end the game. Like and an final and MVP. And I'm talking was right. She would come down. Under the legs, splash that shit like like stuff. I'm not bullshit. It was cold as shit. She would come down there, pull that shit, then she drive the lane, get an one. Cold as hell. Made the made the made the USA women's team regret not recruiting her, or is she not from? I don't know. I, I don't know where she's from, but um, yeah, she was cold. She was killing them. She was cold. That the W the WNBA All Star game. That was a lot of fun. I ain't gonna lie. Like, hey, you know, I get it. That's some of it. But when they start splashing them threes and start making them, and like. It's like watching. It's like watching me sometimes, bro. It's it's kind of fire. I had a good ass time watching it. It was fun. When one of your best three point shooters goes zero from seven for the three, you're not really splashing threes. <sighs> I wouldn't look about her. But that's what I, mean. <laughs> I was watching the regate, bro. I did it. No, no, I, I, I was I watching Roger Wilson. And honestly, I can't wait. Like they have my my favorite player of all time. Or my, not my favorite player. Right, my favorite player. Came, all time is Kansas, but my favorite player right now is Paige Buker. So I can't wait till she's in that shit because I'm watching. Yeah, I just have a hard time hearing that. Like. Three point shooting is not very consistent when it comes to the WNBA. No, they yet. got hot. They, they got yet. hot though. Like they did get hot. It was it was still, fun to watch. And, and I didn't know they were going to do a whole WNBA versus, versus the USA. Awesome. It's kind of weird because like the women in the USA play for the WNBA too. Yeah, so. but I liked it just because like who else would the WNBA? I mean, who else would the USA women's basketball team play? Right? Because like at the end of the day. Yes, these WNBA players are not going to be the WNBA All Star players are not going to be. Oh, Paris, so it was an exhibition still, for the Olympic team. Yeah, like it was like a, a get like a game for them because like you know for a fact like even though the USA team lost the WNBA All Stars, they're not losing nobody else in the like in the country. Haven't we lost in the Olympics before? In women's Olympics for basketball? I don't I don't think we've not won gold one t- at one time. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't. Care I think we've it. been gold every single time, and I'm it pretty sure. Surprise me! I said that I've said that before too. Like I don't see who beats Asia Wilson, but yeah, but no shout out, shout out, Rika. She was she was killing it. Shout out. What else you got, Paul? Uh, so I got a little game for us. Oh, another one. So this game's called Categories. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Jeez, Categories. So what's going to happen is I'm going to give you guys a category. You guys are going to bet on how many of how many things in this category you could name. So example, if I say ice cream flavors, I would be like, 
I could name five ice cream flavors. Ten. Devin would be like, I can name six. And then you're like, okay, go ahead. He has to name <laughs> six or how many. This is tough. I said ten, and uh, but I do think I yeah, can nail if ten. If you think, thing is, you have thirty seconds to name all ten that you okay. said you could. Yeah, yeah, I could name ten. So you guys get it? I love ice I'm, cream. I'm ready. Okay, I got you. Well, hopefully, it ain't about ice cream. Cause I'm... So the first category, NBA teams. Oh, like NBA teams. How many can I name? In thirty seconds, there's thirty two teams. Oh, safely. There's going to be a total of like 10. So person with the higher score wins. So a total of 10 cate- cate- categories. Um, Devin, I'll let you go with your number first. I want to hear your number. First. I can get at least 15 in 30 seconds. You think so? Easily. Can you get 16, Nick? No, I'll go under his. I'm going to go under 15. You can't. No, you have to go over. I have to say the over? The person who... So thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. He didn't clarify that the first person to fucking say a number. That's how I understood. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> That's how I understood if it. If you say 16 and then he says, okay, go at it. That Do means- I have to say the entire name? Like the city? Yes. No. You might have to say the Spurs? Yeah, I would go with the Spurs. You okay. good with that? Yeah. yeah. But do you work, know how the game works? Well, no, not. I thought he said 15 and I'd like, I can name 12. No, you have to go over. You have to name more. You have to make it more difficult. Okay. Well, okay. I'll go 16. Now I'm definitely going to blank. Let me know when I got to go. Devin, can you go 17? Oh, no. Oh. So, okay. So that's how it's going. I understand that. I did that part out. No, I'm not. So you're saying whoever just bid it, but I just want to see. That how. was just, I thought it yeah. was a betting game. I'm going to let him life. have 16 and I want to hear him say. But like, no, he's asking like we all. Oh, we no, whoever. I know. Yeah. I, trust me. I can go to all 30. I want to hear Nick say 16 though. I do. I want to say. No, no, no. It's not that he's saying no matter what. The thing is, like, it's whoever I can says, he's, he's saying 13. whoever to to clarify for the audience. He, Paul's saying if I said five, you have to agree to six, and if you say six, I have to go to seven. Mm-hmm. If yeah, if I say I can name seven, and you say okay, I can. Name I can't 17. name eight. I can name seventeen. I could probably go eighteen. I can go nineteen in thirty seconds. I could probably go to twenty. I cannot go 21 and 30 seconds. So, Nick? So, I have to go 20? 20 teams and 30 seconds? Yes. You counting for me? I'm counting. Timer starts in three, oh my two, God. go. The Nets, the Knicks, the Celtics, the Warriors, the Cavs, the Orlando Magic, the Raptors, the Memphis Grizzlies, the New Orleans Pelicans, the Spurs, the Dallas Mavericks, the Rockets, the um, Phoenix Suns, the Orlando Magic. You already said them. Uh, I did say the magic, mm-hmm. the uh, Charlotte Hornets. Is it the Hornets? Yeah. Um, Five. The four, Portland Trail Blazers. The two, I'm blanking. One, That's why I said I was like, you got tough. 15. I have 15. It's tough. It's tougher yeah, than what you, you think. Do you think about it? Yeah, like what you said. I'd be under pressure, I assume. So I get, the, I get these points? Yeah. Yes. All right. How so much do I get? One. You got 10 points total. Oh. You got you. So that makes sense? Yes. All right. So now we have a feeling for it. Next category. I didn't say the Lakers, which is insane. No, I was like, you didn't say none of the LA teams. You didn't say anything. Well, I started region and then I just started. Yeah, I, I could tell when you were starting with the Knicks, Nets. It was like, oh, he's up in the Northeast area. Next category, states in the U.S. And fit in 30 seconds is tough, but I can definitely do 10. I can do 11. I do 12. I can do 13. I, can, I know I can do 15. I can do 17. I'm comfortable with 20. Do you know how many states there are? 50. Okay. I was, the only reason why I said some people really don't know. Okay, but go ahead. Um, do you go 21? Yeah. I can go 22. I can go 23. I can 24. All right, I'm going to let him have 24. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going until you say you can't. So this is going to be Nick failing a lot. I'm just being clear. I just want Devin to see what he's going to, when his pride will let 24? him concede. Uh, yeah, so I think it's like half the states in 30 seconds. Jesus Christ. All right. Because I have no doubt he can name me 25 in a minute, minute and a half. Reminder <sighs> that yeah. if you say you could do it and you don't do it, then the other person gets the point. So if you get this wrong, Devin gets the point. No, no, no. I'm clear. I said that I'm just conceding because I want to see where his pride stops. But I'm willing to fail <laughs> by trying. I'll die on my shield. He's going to do 50 cents. He's going to get rich or die trying. <clears throat> Nick. 
Name 24 U.S. states in 30 seconds. Go. Alaska, Hawaii, uh, Washington, Oregon, California, Idaho, South, South Dakota, North Dakota, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, Arkansas, Maine, New York, Florida, New, Eng- New England, um, New England, N- Minnesota, New England Minnesota Kentucky, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, Washington, D.C. Um, not Ooh. a state. Not a state? Wow. Two, one. Uh, you had 23. Mm. Oh. You were right at 23. You, you fucking talked in the midway through. You it. said New England. Yeah. That's okay, you don't have to correct me. Just let it run. Oh, I guess. All right. Don't my, count I, it. I, my, my, well, I didn't want you to. If I, I wasn't, stuttered. But, it, but if I were to not count it on my fingers, I was I, looking at you. It's okay. Looking at my finger, I would have gotten it, but it's okay. If you were looking Two at my zero, fingers and I didn't count what it. What else you got, Paul? Next category. I think I surprised all y'all by how I was running through those. Though. I comp- I know you geography. skipped the whole Midwest. No, time. I'm not. I'm fully aware, but I'm I'm letting you know now. Like I'm really good at geography. I could. I said you could have done it in 30 seconds. Was what my question was. I, you can get it in a minute for sure, but 30 seconds. You wouldn't have talked and let me run. I don't want to hear that. You wanted to say New England, and if I didn't put my finger out to show that I counted it, you would have said I didn't count it. No, you would have just said it's not a state, and I would have said, oh, you're right. That would have wasted the same amount of time that we just said when I said it ain't a state. That's a waste the exact same time, but go ahead. You're right. I won't say nothing. It was make or break on one answer. Devin up 2-0. Next category. (laughs) European countries. Oh, shit. Five. I'll start five. I can name six. Seven. You can name seven? Seven European countries. I can name eight. Nine. Go ahead, because I don't know that I can name 10. I really don't. Like, I'm not bullshitting you. All right. Nick, you ready? Nick. But how do we... Okay, you can't just say some bull... We have to verify <sighs> some of these. Go. Name eight European countries in 30 seconds. No, it's not. Go. France, Portugal, England, Spain, uh, Scotland, Norway, Germany, Italy, Greece, um... What is that old one? Uh, Iceland. Um, That's part of Europe. What else am I missing? How much time do I have left? You are ten. Oh, I'm ten. That's good. It. I won. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Seven seconds left. Okay, I told you. Is Iceland part of Europe? I just want to know. Yes, it's right above. It's in I region. know it's over there to the left hand side, but it's on its own little area. If he had that as eighth one, I wouldn't count it because it's not part of the continental. That's okay. The continent, know. but yeah. It is a European country. I know they play European soccer. No, it's know. a European country. <laughs> All right. I meant, yeah. Was it 2 Did one? you mean they had to connect on the... What do you mean European? European. It's in Europe. Yes. Yes. It's in the continent. It's on its own. It's on its own. It's, it's an, an island. island. It's... A part of that continent. I'm, I'm, that's what I was asking. When you go it's, continental, Madagascar is part of Africa. That's what I didn't. But it's on I'm an island. I'm not here. Will you? I'm not here. I gave it to you. What I'm asking is, I didn't know it was part of Europe. That's all I said. I just knew it was its own island. But if it's, I know it's not its own continent, so it could be part of Europe. I just said I didn't know. Are you googling it to make sure or what, Paul? Yes, because Iceland and Greenland are, are their own islands, and I didn't know if Iceland was part of Antarctica or not. Probably not. Probably part of Europe. But I'm just asking. Iceland sits on the top of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, splitting the country onto two tectonic plates, making the west part in North America and the eastern in Europe. Technically, it's half and half. It doesn't give me half a point. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. He got eight and a half instead of nine. I'm just fucking. (laughs) Y'all are fucking crazy. I had ten. I have nine and a half technically. All right. Keep going. Next conversation. You also didn't say Russia. Devin still in the lead. Huge. Smells like the biggest one in Europe. I thought you. How are we going to argue? Okay, so we're really going to talk. No, as you said, it just surprised me. I thought Russia would be like easy for you. Like, I thought it was going to be one of your choices. Russia's it's, technically a part of Europe. Asia. And Ru- no, Asia. Russia's part of Europe. It's a part of Asia as well. I know that, but like. It's, you just argued with me about half and half, and you're going to use a half and half I guess country. you're right. Don't that. All right. I don't think it's half. Category half. number four Is more Russia in Asia than there is in Europe? No, I know that. Like, you're talking about land wise. That's why I'm saying, like, it's part of Europe. I get that. Okay, go ahead. You're right. Next category number four. So with the Olympics being this week, next category next category is Olympic sports. Uh, the, uh, two. Anyway, three. I can go, four. I can go, I can go six. 
I, I can go eight. I can, it's, it's just these summer Olympic sports. That's Olympic sports. Winter Olympics? It's an Olympic sport. Or it's a part of the Olympics. Then I can go 10. I'm comfortable with 12. For 13? I'm comfortable with 14. I don't think you are. Comfortable with 14. I'm just, I am right, do 14 then. So you got to get 14. I might think this. All right, Nick. Name 14 Olympic sports in 30 seconds. Go. Wrestling, freestyle wrestling, solo, oh, no. fencing, volleyball, skiing, long jump, tra- uh, f- 100 to 4, <laughs> 400 to 4 That's by what 4. we do. I was track and field. field. That's, okay, all right. I guess that's easy. I was thinking track and field. We're still so. talking. Like, but you but know, these you, are all sports that you no, can you meddle did. in. You, you got that. You definitely got I was going to get yeah, 14. You're, you're going to easy crush that. I didn't think 100, 200 hurdles, 100 hurdles, 200 hurdles. I didn't know he was doing that. It's that makes sense. That makes sense. I got you. I thought we were talking about sports as in just sports as in track and field as a sport. You kind of you named events, not sports. Okay. Well, you want me to restart? No, no, you got it. Let's two, restart. Two. No, two, two. I didn't. He did my comeback because you were you you did name. He like, named like three sports, and you no, were going to be there. I was going to go fencing. I was going to go golf. I fencing, was go golf, basketball, yeah, I basketball. Go. Yeah, I know that you definitely. Now that you had it, you definitely had it. All right. Next number five, Marvel movies. Ten. What? I, I can't. No, I'm, I can't name eleven. So go ahead. I, All right, Nick. Dead ass. I don't. It Marvel. It, can I be petty? Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. And I can be petty. What do you mean? By you me? have to. If you're going like a certain character, you can't go one, two, three. You have to name what that movie is. The title. The full title. Oh yeah, you lost me. Go ahead. You can't cheese it like that. I said 10 in the Marvel Universe. Cinematic Universe. It's the Marvel No Cinematic Sony, Universe. no animated movies. That's all Marvel. The title Marvel comes on. The Marvel Cinematic Universe involves Disney. All right. I mean, I don't think I need that either. Hang on. The Marvel Universe. Cinematic Universe. The ones that came from Disney. Why do you keep emphasizing Disney? cinematic? Because he know. said Sony, which is like... Because you Amazing say, Spider-Man. You Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man but Sony. that's a Marvel product yeah. that Sony made. That's why I'm saying that is a Marvel Sony universe. Sony didn't movie. make it. Sony just bought Spider-Man. So when I say cinematic universe, that means starting from the original Iron Man to Avengers and now on. Not like the Amazing Spider-Man, not the original Spider-Man. Okay. Because those were so made start from by me. Sony, not Disney. So basically, you just can't I'm say Spider-Man. You just can't, fucking confused on you why just you can't name Spider-Man. Yeah, it's fine. You just can't Marvel name Spider-Man. Movies? Yeah, just name Marvel, but you can't name Spider-Man. Do you not know what the Marvel Cinematic Universe is? Just... I'm Guess not. I mean, You're, Marvel Cinematic I mean, Universe is, means like it's been it's a cinematic meaning yeah. movie that's been on fucking TV or in a movie theater. It's a movie. We got it. Just you can't name Spider Man, but go ahead. Name it if you name the other ones. It doesn't All right, count. that's cool. I, I'll try. Now that, I, now I'm confused. I think I got ten. Yeah. Nick, name ten Marvel movies in thirty seconds. Go. X Men, Spider Man, Thor, Iron Man, Black Panther, um, Ant Man and Wasp. Um, let's go. Fuck, I've just blanked. Um, Doctor Strange. Um, fuck, I blanked. Um, I'm blanking. Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers. That's nine. That was ten, I thought. Here is nine. Avengers Age of Ultron. There you go, ten. That's it. I only count like eight. X-Men isn't a part of it. Mm. See, that's what I mean. That's I wrong, that. though, because that's a Marvel Cinematic movie. It's not part of the same universe, though. So. That's stupid. I don't. What are you talking about when you say that? I knew he was going to say that when I said X Men. I knew he was going to get definitive. So you consider that? What is it? The new one, the Deadpool that's coming out. You don't consider that Marvel? You guys don't know it, so it's not worth explaining. No, it's, it's a whole a, thing. It's a whole thing. So somebody would be offended that there, we said X Men was Marvel. No, but there's a Marvel universe that Disney's a part of. That I all of this stuff is made by Marvel Comics and like, but there's different. People that made it like the original like Avengers isn't in the same universe as X-Men because they're made by two separate companies. So the X-Men don't exist. See, no, but that's what you're trying to tell me. That's not cinematic. That's the Marvel universe. I'm aware that Wolverine should never belong in the like it's not a part of the Avengers universe. But cinematic movie. 
and then universe. So the Marvel movie universe. So the movies that it's not worth explaining on this podcast. Okay. But I'm just letting you know that the X-Men are a part of Marvel and they have cinematic. You guys, they're in the cinematic universe. It's not worth explaining. It's not worth explaining, Devin. You you telling me, bro. I'm lost. I'm. <laughs> I thought we were going off of Marvel, but three two Devin. Is that, I, Technicality. I, the reason why I said Marvel, the reason why I let you go Marvel, because I would have said Wolverine too, and then you're good. Uh, we'll go two more. Uh, actors. Oh shit. This one's tough, but I'll go eight. Solid. Eight. Like, doesn't matter what kind of actors, just actors. What do you mean by that? I could cheat. We're not talking about behind no, you, sir. Yeah. This is not male, fair. female. The act in movies that can be played on cable or in a movie. TV theater. shows or movies? It Both. doesn't matter. Let's just I go. I can't name it. anything around. How much you name? I started with eight. Eight. I can do ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. I'm going one above you. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19. You, can they be alive or dead? If they were an actor. I'm going to say you can't do 20. So I'm saying if they, but if they were alive or dead, does it count? I don't give a shit. Okay, then I can do 20. Devin named 20 actors in 30 seconds. They just have to be in a movie. Yeah, no, okay. that's what that's an actor I'm is. Guys, make sure. A movie or a show. Okay, I got you. Go. The Rock, Kevin Hart, Jonah Hill, Jack Black, uh, Jessica Alba, Scarlett Johansson, Robert Downey Jr. Shit, it's Mark Galafag... What's his name? I don't even know it no more. Um, Kevin James, Snoop Dogg, Cat Williams, Nick Cannon. Where am I at number wise? 12. Oh, shit. Um, Eve, she was in Barbershop, Ice Cube. Taraji P. Henson. Done. You are like 15, 16, 17, just total. But like, I definitely would have gotten petty and told you there's like a actor and actress difference. I'm just saying. That's why I asked you what it was. Wait. Is it- no, they, no. If you, actor, actress, same thing. Okay. Oh, you, that's why I asked. Could it be male or female? I didn't know. I didn't hear him say that. Yeah, <laughs> asked, could it be male I or did, female? I didn't hear the question of fe- uh, male or female. That's what I said when you said that. You said, can I name male or female? And then the I didn't hear you say that. I'm being genius. But it's okay. You didn't, you didn't, I didn't hit it. 20. So that's what I'm saying. No, that's a lot. But I know I knew Leonardo missed it. Jamie Fox right. missed it. So Denzel tiebreaker. Uh, next category. U.S. presence. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I'm going to five and stopping. You can do six. I'm going to five and stopping. Devin? I can do eight. I can do eight. I'll do ten. And stop. There's been 54, right? I think so, yeah. 54? I think so. It's like 46, I believe. Pretty sure we're in the 50s. I thought we were in the 50s. I don't know. How many did you say? Ten? Ten. Ten. I could do 11. You got it. Win the game. I can't do that shit. Devin, name 11. should be able to get five immediately. We'll see. Name 11 presidents in 30 seconds. Go. Barack, Clinton, Trump, Biden, George Bush, George Bush Sr., Ronald Reagan. Did I say George Washington already? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Jackson, Thomas Jefferson. Nope. Who's number two? Samuel Adams? I think Adams was a president. Samuel Adams. Samuel was Adams. A That's eleven. Thomas Jefferson was a president. Was when we signed the Declaration of Independence. Harvey Grant. He did. I think I got it. All right, Devin Woods. Uh, what was his name? Was Thomas Jefferson president? I'm pretty sure he was not. But no, I think he signed the Declaration of Independence. Let me look. What was his name? Thomas Jefferson. He might have been the third. President. Oh, that was a really good one. It was very like. We'll get it figured out. No, we, I like. We got the. Big, I like that. No, was he nice. was. He was the third president. Thomas Jefferson. I'm John trash. Adams was the second president, not, not Samuel Adams. Uh, I, well, you could have gone 15 at the rate you were moving. So I was getting there. I forgot about Theodore. Carries a big stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That that game show got me in a blender. 
Um, I should have took you up on your actor one, but regardless. Because you definitely would have had it. Well, I said you could cheat. Uh, I said you could turn around and literally cheat. It's just from the 30 seconds, because like, I can name, like, I, Jim Carrey, how did I forget my little boy? That's crazy. Uh, it's That's it's crazy. hard when they put Will you on Ferrell, the spot. Seth Rogen, I do that to my boo. That's all right. Could you name 10 Marvel Cinematic Movies in 30 seconds, Paul? Yeah. Could you do 15? No. No. I don't even want to know Could about. Could you do 14? I think the max I could do is like 11 or 12. In 30 seconds? Are we doing this? I feel like you know the names of the Avengers movies, though. So I feel like that automatically puts you there for sure. You get 25 seconds because you're so oh, smart. 30 seconds. You know more. I have to name a lot of them. I do feel like you know the names of that one. So they, like that's you're already, fine. I know that's what's going through your mind right now. You're thinking of all the things. You're about to fire them off. But go ahead. Whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, Captain America, Captain America Next, uh, Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, uh, Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Thor, Thor Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, uh, Hulk, Black Panther, Black Panther 2. That's not the name. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. Yeah. <laughs> I already got like. But I don't even know if Iron Man's were the name either, because you told me I couldn't do that because I yeah. was going to do that, and you told me I couldn't. You the Thor Iron one, Man. the Thor one, you you killed it. No, I was just trying to prevent you from saying <laughs> Thor one two three, Iron Man one two three, That's Black Panther one two. No, but see how I like you're going to name Avengers one two three four. No, no, no. Yeah, that on the on the Avengers and the Thor one, you killed it. Like you named the Thor one. Wholeheartedly, but you said Iron Man One, Iron Man Two, Iron Man Three. Because I don't think those have a name. I think the third. I one use it. I guess I use a bad example. Let me see. That third one I thought had a name was you. But uh, either way, that you impress me. You're a fucking nerd for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'll I'll try and explain it to you later. We got too <laughs> complex to explain on this podcast. No, no, no. I I get you drift. I I I commend you on how much you know know about it though. Shout outs. You really care about that. Think. No, don't. I mean, you, that's one of your hobbies, sounds like. I'm going to give him something he don't know, though, next time. We'll run it back. Could you do, How col- are you could you do college sauces? teams? What do you mean, college teams? College football teams. That's easy. Is it? You just name the college. How many do you think you could do in 30 seconds? 15. Okay, well. We'll see on the next one. It's I'll well. put it to you. With that, uh, anything, any updates, anything that we want to get off? Um, nobody can talk to me for a whole week. Have fun. I will have no service. We love you. We miss you. Have fun. And I plan on talking to nobody. It was good. Really great. Except for you. y'all. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to y'all, but that's it. I feel like you won't, but. I'm not going to talk to a single soul. It's going to be me and Mother Nature. We'll have fun. Um, and with that being said, I love everybody. Oh, wait, Devin, do you have anything else? I want to say don't follow us dum-dums. I'm going to need some shirts that say that. That's oh. part of the goal next month. Follow us dum dum shirts. Go. With that being said, love everybody in this room, love everybody out there. Toodles. Toodles.